MTD CNC are in Birmingham today. I'm at Volst Alpine. I'm with Stuart Brown. Stuart, uh, tell us a little bit about the company and what you do here. We're predominantly a steel supplier. Uh, we're looking at more value-added services nowadays. That's my role within this business. What we can also provide to, to our customers. There is a lot of steel here. We've had a good walk round. Uh, so you, you're obviously a successful steel supplier. Now you want to take the next step and be able to offer your customers the opportunity to have their machining done here as well. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, part of that is your brand new XYZ CT65. This is a new lathe which has just been installed in the company. In fact, it's one of their, their latest models. Uh, why did you select this machine, Stuart? Uh, I selected it for a couple of reasons. The first one was the size of the machine. The footprint's very small. It's very accurate. It's easy to, easy to program. The, you, it is a small footprint, but it's also got a 65mm bar diameter. So that's quite a healthy working envelope for a machine of this size, isn't it? Sure, yeah. yeah. Now, let's talk about the, um, the, the, the programming on this, because this has got the latest Siemens controls, the 828D, but like you've correctly identified, it's the touchscreen version. Can you just, for our engineers or our viewers that haven't seen this control in action, sure. maybe go through a few of the functions and features so they can see how easy it is to operate and use? Okay, so it's obviously a conversational programming. We've got various tabs along the bottom. We're going to drill in there. That'll give you options at the side. Obviously, because there's no live tooling on this machine, we can only drill on the center. So we've only got really the one option on there. And then you would literally just fill in the boxes? You fill in the boxes. As you go down, it asks you for the information, what it requires, visually. So it's very easy to understand. OK, and then the next one would be turning down the bottom. OK. So on the turning, we've got a few more options here. Stop removal, groove, undercut, thread, and part off. Again, it's the same thing. I can pick the stock removal. I've got various different options I can fill in. I can see this isn't going to take long to learn, is it? Uh, it's quite easy. I picked it up myself quite quickly. And is this uh, actually the shop turn function? Yes, yeah, this is the shop turn function of this machine. OK, so you just add in, again, your, your, your dimensions of what you want to cut and your axes and so forth. Uh, once you've done all this, can you then show us maybe the simulation and sure. how? So if I come out of that, there's a simulation button at the bottom. It'll automatically load. And this is going to give us then a, a, a 3D view of the part sure. being machined. OK. So that's running through the cycles. And is this, does it also give you uh, cycle times yeah. and things like that so you know how long the part's going to take? It. Yeah, it does, yeah. And there's obviously then a thread on this. Now, quite, quite aptly, you've also got this component in your hand. So if you, you could show us, how long does it take you roughly to machine this on this machine? What sort of material is it? Uh, this is 660, so it's quite tough. Uh, I think these are about seven minutes each. So the, mainly the materials in general that you are machining here on your XYZ machines are, are, are more challenging, are they? Yeah, they are, yeah. yeah. And when you take this machine on the whole, let's look at the hardware now, in, inside, did it come with the chuck and the tools that you got here? You've got a 12-station turret? Yeah, yeah, it came with everything you see there, uh, parts catcher, tool probe. And I noticed earlier you just showed us the, the, the on the tail stuck on this machine that you can actually, it's hydraulically activated so you can then move it backwards and forwards easily? Sure, yeah. I can just press that button there now and it drops off the bottom of the tail stock to allow you to move it into position, then you, you clamp it back up all hydraulically. A uh, big question always asked by uh, myself is, you know, you've gone for a, a turning machine rather than one with mill drill. Is it is it purely because you are just turning here on this machine? We are purely just turning on this machine to start off with. Um, Future-wise, looking at some of the drawings I'm being sent from our salespeople, I might possibly go for a bigger live, live axis. Um, and when you were searching the market, at uh, less than £50,000, would you believe, for this machine. Was there much else out there, certainly with this control, the touchscreen control and the hardware that this offered, the bar size this offered, uh, the compact footprint that this offered, was there much else out there that, um, that sort of uh, attracted your attention? There is other machines, but they're, they're a lot more highly priced, I found. We also, the interesting feature on this that we didn't go over is the thread control, you can slow the thread down during cutting. So if you've got chatter in it or anything, you can slow it down and you can rechange your speeds and feeds, which, is it, which you couldn't really do before on, on old Fanuc machines. Because you've got a lot of experience with Fanuc and Siemens, but, but for, for this exercise then, this Siemens controller has, has really been a, a good thing for you? Yeah, it's a real asset to us. 